Welcome everyone to another day and another Khan Academy tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about nested fractions and these are essentially the inception of fractions. They're fractions within fractions. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we're asked which expression is equivalent to 3x divided by 9 divided by 2x divided by 7. One thing to keep in mind is you can think of this as the divide sign. And using our fraction divide rules, we can keep change flip, as they probably say in middle school. I was actually taught this by students, keep change flip. I always just think of multiply by the reciprocal, but some of you think that uh, and use that uh, keep change flip is an easy way to remember multiplying by the reciprocal. And if that works for you, then go ahead and use that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep the top fraction as is. So I'm going to rewrite 3x divided by 9. So I have 3x divided by 9. So now I change the, the divide because this line right here is the same thing as divide. I'm going to multiply, changing it to multiplication. And now I cannot keep this the same. I can't just rewrite 2x divided by 7 because I would be just changing the divide to multiply. And you, can't, you just can't change one thing without changing something else in mathematics. So I'm going to change this to its reciprocal, which is 7 over 2x. And now I'm ready to simplify by multiplying the top times the top, bottom times the bottom. And I get 21x over 2xy. Some of you like to cancel before. Some of you like to cancel after multiplying, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do both. So if I do it after what I did just there, I would be canceling the x with the x, and that's it, because the 21 doesn't go into 2, and 2 doesn't go into 21. There's no other y's, so that would be our answer. Now if you cancel before you multiply, you see that there's an x here in the top, an x in the bottom, and you cancel those out, and now you don't have to worry about the x's when you multiply. So our answer, if we're looking for it, would be D. So let's go ahead and select that as our option. All right. 104. This one is a little bit more tough. So it says, which expression is equivalent to 3x divided by 2 over 3x plus 2? So keep in mind that it gives you this right here because it can't... You can't have 0 in the denominator. So if we plugged in 0 in for x here, that would be a problem because it would be 3 divided by 0, which is undefined. Okay, And we can't have negative 3 halves in for x because if we were to do that, it would be after we do 3 divided by negative 3 over 2, it is, it would, this works out to be negative 2. So then we would have negative 2 plus 2 in the denominator, which would be divide by 0 again. That also is undefined. So I just want you to know why they say that. It's because you can't have an undefined answer. Okay, so I'm going to quick try to erase, 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 erase. You think they'd give you a little bit bigger of an eraser. Okay, I hope my OCD people don't call me out on missing a few spots. Okay, now what's the trick to this problem? The trick to this problem is making sure that the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator, are both all underneath one fraction, one denominator, okay? So if you look at our top, our top's good to go. We're happy with that. We have 3x divided by 2, okay? We're, that's completely fine. It's all underneath one denominator, which is 2. So that's good. Okay, let me erase rewrite. I wish there was an undo button. It's the little things that you appreciate. Okay. Now notice our bottom is not ready to go. We have two terms here. We have 3 over x. And now if it was 3 plus 2, which is 5 over x, 5 over x, that'd be good. But because we have 3 over x and, and it's plus 2 over 1, essentially, that's what you could write that as a fraction. We have two fractions in the denominator, which is bad. We want it under one denominator, one fraction. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to combine these somehow. So how do you do that? Well, it's, it's just like finding a common denominator. So we're going to find a common denominator between these two, and then we're going to add them together. Okay. So what is the common denominator? Well, we have x as 1, and then 
divided by one is the other. So obviously we're gonna make it x. X is gonna be our common denominator um, for both these fractions. So let's go ahead and show how that works. So we have three over x, that one doesn't need to change, plus, but now we need to change the denominator to the other fraction as x. And what you do to the, let me actually change the color of that. And what you do to the bottom, you also have to do to the top. So if I just put, multiply the, uh, the one times x in the bottom, I also need to do two times x in the top, okay? So I erase the one there, but it, I can show you again. So really it's um, two x over one x. Okay, now if you were to reduce this, the whole point is that if you reduced it, it's the original thing. It's the original term. So we have if you have 2x over 1x, you could cancel the x's, and you're just left with 2 over 1, which is 2. That was the original problem, but we just changed how it looks so we can add these fractions. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add. Our adding rules are keep the base, which is x. So x x, 1x, 1x, same thing. I just write that as x. In the top, we're gonna add. So we have three plus two x. I do not add these. This is not five x or any other variation such. Okay, this is three plus two x. Now, I bet you're thinking, wow, that's pretty ugly. How does that help us? It will, okay? So let's go ahead and rewrite our big fraction over here. So I had three x over two on the top. In the bottom, I had three plus two x over x. Now I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay, keep change flip, bop it, flip it, twist it, or whatever that game is. Okay, I'm gonna be multiplying by the reciprocal essentially. So let me rewrite this as a multiplication problem, which is three x over two, times, this is the change, keep change, and then flip the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of this guy well, I'm just going to rewrite the x on top and the 3 plus 2x on the bottom. Now we just follow my multiplication rules, which is top times top, bottom times bottom. What does that become? Well, 3x times x is 3x squared. What happens in the bottom? Well, I should probably put this in parentheses because there's addition there, and now I'm multiplying because I have to do order of operations. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be distributing. Let me just write it first, and then I'll distribute second. Okay. So it's 2 times the quantity 3 plus 2x. Let's simplify this. 3x squared over 2 times, let me show the distribution here, 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 2 times 2x, which is 4x. Now I just need to find this answer. And I'm guessing it's D. I see 3x squared for D. And there we go. There's our answer. Okay, I know it's a little bit of a lengthy process, but it's worthwhile just like anything in life. Hope you have an excellent day and see you next time.